Today was election day, but the turnout was lower than usual throughout the state. Twin States reporter Emily Erickson tells us more. Today was an important day for the voters. There was a runoff election for Senate and the Republican Party's runoff for the 3rd Congressional District seat. However, voting in this election has been low. In the runoff, there was only 19% turnout for Lauderdale County, but it's higher than the average turnout in the state, which is 13%. So we're a little bit higher here, but because of those low turnouts, your voice and your vote counts that much more because you're that much more of a bigger percentage of the total vote. So we encourage everybody to go out and vote. Do some research. If you if you don't know who to vote for, we encourage you to call a, a trusted friend. Don't just ask them who they're voting for, but ask them why they're voting for that certain candidate and uh, get out and exercise your right to vote. Tate expresses the importance of voting even in local elections. It's important to vote today because this is your chance to have your voice heard in Washington. Uh, if you think that something's wrong in Washington or if you think that uh, something should be influenced one way or another, this is your chance for your voice to be heard. Uh, we encourage everybody to come out to vote. Three weeks ago, Lauderdale County made the switch to a paper precinct scanner, which is the first time the county has used one in over a decade. You need a paper trail in case something comes up and uh, questions about the election later. You have a recount, somebody challenges the election. Uh, if you have a paper trail, you've got something physically that you can look at under the old system. Uh, it was strictly all recorded with the uh, voting machine. The next election for these potential candidates will be the final one that will take place in November. Reporting in Lauderdale County, Emily Erickson, Twin States News. And for continuous results throughout the night, you can head to our Facebook page at Twin States News.